Hello, amazing people. I'm Linda Sharkey, and hopefully you got excited enough about getting survey data from your likely equipment that you'll want to watch all 15 minutes of this overview. But honestly, if you're only interested in the Brits CAD side of things, the first minute or so is all you're going to need. So before we get into it, I just wanted to show you the, the two phases of the basic workflow. There's the initial setup. This is the stuff that gets done once and used many times. So this is creating a template in BricsCAD and then mapping that template to Leica Infinity and Captivate uh, code tables. And then you have the daily work processes, the capture, the cleanup, the import into CAD and creating CAD deliverables. So these get done on a daily, weekly basis. These are the things that you do. These are the things that you do as a more usual workflow. So if you want the one minute version, here it is. You get an enhanced DWG from someone that was exported from Leica Infinity. You open it in BricsCAD. Here you have a normal DWG with lines and blocks that match the template you gave to the people performing the survey. At the moment, these aren't civil objects because as you can see, the civil explorer is empty. But if you hit the like convert button and choose to delete the original entities, you get civil objects points, surfaces, and strings that maintain your CAD standards. But now they also contain extended data brought in from the survey. That's it. That's all you have to do. Let's have a look at the first of the do once, use many times steps. And this is creating a Brits CAD template. Now, I'm not going to walk you through this as there are already some great resources out there and you're probably a template expert anyway. But the only thing to remember is to save your template as a DWG, not a DWT. That's so that it can be read into Leica Infinity. So set up your layer definitions, your line styles, your 2D, your 3D blocks, and save as a blank drawing file. Then the next step is to map that template to a code table in Leica Infinity. So here we are in Infinity on the tools page. You'll find the code table manager. We already have a code table defined with code groups and codes with attribute fields. Now, these code groups and codes streamline and standardize data collection. And also as an aside, these are much more likely to be set up and used by Infinity users, not the CAD users. Okay, let's head back to our code manager and you'll see that we have codes and code groups, but there are no lines or blocks or line styles defined for these. By heading to the layers tab and hitting import lines and blocks, we can navigate to our template DWG and select it. Now, once that's done, we can see that all of our lines and blocks and line styles are there in the, the, the code managers. You can import DWGs for lines and blocks and uh, .lin files, L-I-N files for line styles as well. Those are the two things that you can bring in. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that the DWG import will fail if you have the template DWG open elsewhere. Um, this isn't usually a problem, but if you happen to be working with both programs, Leica and BricsCAD, um, it could happen. So if you do get an error at this point, it's probably because the DWG template is open somewhere else. All right, now you've got a code table. You can map these codes to layers and blocks. So scroll across and click uh, on, a, on a line to choose a block for each of the, the individual codes. Based on the code and attributes, you have the option to scale. So for example, here we have a 3D block that uh, is a tree, represents a tree, and we can scale that based on the canopy. Uh, then you also want to assi assign a layer to the code and save the code table. Once you have a code table, you can create a new Leica Infinity project and the code table can be assigned from the drop-down list. So now what you have is a Leica project with a code table mapped to the CAD standards we want. Now equally, we can save this as a template as well, meaning that the next time we do a project for this particular client, 
it's even quicker to get up and running. Now let's move on to the more everyday workflows. A little bit of background, the code table we created in the previous steps will become a code list that will be used on a Leica instrument. And the surveyor will collect data and assign them to these codes. When the job is finished, it can be imported to Leica Infinity. You've got points, you've got lines, you've got point clouds, etc. images if they're there. This project does contain some images. I'm going to turn them off. There we go. And here we have our survey project. But I just want to show you what it looks like when the same survey job is imported without the mapped code table. As you can see here, right, let's switch the, switch the images off. As you can see here, we still have the raw information. For example, we know this is a tree and if we click on it, we get the uh, attributes for that. But it's going to take someone a lot of time and effort and quality analysis, either in like Infinity or in the CAD environment, in Bricks CAD, to get it ready to be part of a CAD deliverable. Now, I look at this like it's a bit like me waking up with my hair and makeup already done. It's not technically necessary for me to do my job, but it's a lot more pleasant for everyone involved. All right. Now that our job has been imported, uh, we can adjust for corrections in Leica Infinity if they are needed. Uh, a word about tin surfaces, these can be created either in Leica Infinity or in Bricks CAD. But the important thing is that if tin surfaces are created in Leica, they will be imported into Bricks CAD. There is no need to redo that work. Once you're done, Head over to the export button and choose BricsCAD DWG. Oh, 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 I nearly forgot. In the layer manager, um, you can choose which layers should be exported. So this is something that you may want to just have a look at to, you know, minimize the size of your drawing and eliminate unnecessary information for the person who will be working in the CAD environment. So choose the export all button. So we want all of our project to, to go. And voila, you have an enhanced DWG that is already using the lines, layers, blocks, everything needed for the final CAD deliverables. Now over in Bricks CAD, open up the drawing and as I mentioned earlier, this is a normal drawing at the moment. You can't see me, but I'm doing little bunny ears around normal. It's a normal drawing. It's got the layers, the colors, the blocks, they're all correct, but things aren't yet civil objects with the extended attribute data. And you can see that because the civil explorer is empty. Head up to convert like a DWG, hit that button and choose to delete the original objects. Oh, okay, hang on a second. Let's see if we can get the annotation scale to look something a little less messy. Yep, that's better. And ta-da, look at all of this amazingly useful data. Now, if we zoom to this tree, you'll see all of the extended data in the user attribute section. This has all been imported from Leica. Um, if you double click on a civil point, the civil point editor will show up and you can change and edit in here. See all the extended data that we have available? And it's worth noticing that the user data is available for use in filtering. So for example, we can create a new point group, call it vegetation, and use the filter functionality to create a filter. So we want user attribute value is tree, hit apply, and you can continue to build the filter if you want to. Um, otherwise, hit apply and you'll see there's six points in this group. Uh, the group will show up in the Sybil Explorer and you can switch them on and off. Uh, this makes jobs much easier to work with. Tin surfaces can be created in Leica Infinity or in BricsCAD. The choice is yours. The important thing here is that no work has to be recreated. Create once, use many times. 
If Linework was collected, you'll see it in your data collector, in Leica Infinity, and now in BricsCAD as our new string civil object. Again, no rework needed. The data is editable through the string editor with elevations, horizontal geometry, and statistics, and all geometry is maintained, including 3D arcs. BritzCAD V25 enables surveyors using Leica equipment to streamline their field collection to CAD deliverable workflow, delivering according to client CAD standards with less manual setup work, less rework, and fewer opportunities for errors to creep in. Well, guys, thank you for spending this time with me and joining me for a brief overview of this incredibly powerful and unique to BritzCAD functionality. To learn more about what we've unveiled for V25, why don't you join us for these other breakouts? Thanks again, and you guys take care.